Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com um, So I've got a ROM review, the first ROM review for T-Mobile Galaxy S3 and also this should actually work on AT&T Galaxy S3 SGH i747 also there's a Sprint version, I'll have the links uh, down below so you can actually flash it for T-Mobile, AT&T or um, Sprint version uh, this ROM's pretty simple. It's been uh, deodexed and zip aligned. Uh, what that means is, with the rooted ROMs, it, it basically, you know, aligns all the icons and stuff, makes it slightly faster. Um, one of the coolest thing about this ROM is that it comes with aw awesome beats, which is like Dre beats on HCC. It's a slightly modified DSP manager um, for all you audio files or you know audio fields or um, all all of you you know crazy bass heads like me or whatever. Um, you should listen to dubstep and get this and <laughs> go crazy with it. Um, anyway, this is a very, very good ROM. Also, it comes with audio enhancing hot hack, which basically makes your speakers at the loudest point. So it's actually, your speaker is now louder than stock. I tried it out and it does make it maybe like 10, 15% louder, which is a um, good thing because the speakers on here are really loud already, but now you can get it even slightly louder and also will work for headphones. Um, so those two features are the main features and uh, a lot of the bloatware has been removed. Like when I turn my phone on, all that chat on comes on by automatically. Um, all that has been removed. So for those of you who just want root and get rid of bloatware, this is definitely a great ROM to start with. And also there should be a ton of ROMs coming, but right now this one and there's one other ROM as date of this video. Uh, but I want, I just wanted to post this um, since it, it looks like a pretty decent ROM and uh, it's based off stock so you won't lose that much just all that blowware and uh, I don't know you, you might be able to get I don't know if the wi free Wi-Fi calling works on the AT&T I don't know you can try it since the setting is there um, I'm getting error sim card because I don't have a sim card inserted um, go go ahead and try it on your T-Mobile or AT&T um, and also the Sprint version, you can try it for the Sprint version. It's pretty much the same version, ported off there, all the same features. And uh, I think I think that's it. So definitely give that, this ROM a try. It should give you slightly better battery life, uh, better performance. And also you'll have more memory for your apps. Let me actually show you that. Uh, let me close all the apps and then show you settings. And uh, where is it? Um... Or is it? Oh. Okay, application manager. If you go to running, you can see how much memory you have. Um, it actually, I have one gigs free. When you do a fresh install, you should have uh, about 1.2, 1.1 gig uh, gigs free. So it does give you more memory because uh, we got rid of all that bloatware. Um, but running so far so good. I'm just glad I got rid of all those stock apps that kind of pop up when you um, turn your phone on, which was getting you know very annoying um, so go ahead and try this ROM out and uh, let me know you what you think and as always don't install i93 ROMs on the US versions and also if you have like a Canadian version that's compatible with T-Mobile anything that starts with SGH T999 or uh, SGH i747 they should also be compatible so you can flash on those also um, anyway, thanks you guys for watching my video. As always, if you have a Galaxy S3, don't forget to sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com. Uh, we update you once a week with uh, ROM of the Week, hacks and more, and also it's a great way for you to get in contact with me if you have trouble um, with your phone. And also if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here, uh, subscribe button up there, and use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. And as always, don't buy an iPhone, it sucks.